Hi guys, I'm the Average Gamer Mark, and we have to talk. So, um, they put the Redoubtable into the game, uh, even though it was said that there would never be a larger ship than a 4th rate as a DLC. Hey guys, this is Editing Mark, and they just announced that there would be a 1st rate DLC ship. Now, this kind of ties into my video I already was making about the Redoubtable. It was already finished, but then they announced this yesterday or two days ago, I don't know. Uh, and they said, I'm not sure why this conversation started, as we already mentioned a couple of times before, first-rate imported ship is coming. Uh, someone asked what a first-rate DLC is coming, even though you promised it wouldn't be coming. And the answer was, that's an old promise. Uh, and then he goes and explains they didn't want to make as many DLC ships, but now they're going to make more, so that's all good. They need money to finance the programmers to do more work, which is valid, of course. You do need that. And then he says, uh, and yes, no more promises. We were burnt hard on the wipe and fourth rate debacle. Uh, and we're, we're left with no emotions. So what he kind of says is, um, yeah, we're not going to promise anything else. So we don't really care what you think. We're just going to do our DLC ships. Uh, don't care what we promised before. And we want to make as much money off this as possible to finance our programmers, of course. And what they're going to do is apparently put out a first-rate DLC ship. Now, you can make lots of DLCs, lots of good DLCs, lots of DLCs people would buy, but putting a first-rate in here will be horrible for the game. Everything I'm about to say about the Redoubtable will count for the first-rate like twice or three times as much, because that's going to be a ship that's twice or three times as powerful. You know, I don't just want to bash on developers or anything, but what could you do to maybe earn money and not put out a first-rate DLC? There were already comments in this thread. I read a bit of it. I did not read all of it. It's just if they really need the money to uh, further their developers, what could they do? Well, I don't know. Make DLC that it's already mentioned in this thread. Like, put three small ships into one DLC, that would really help uh, new players get started into the game. Put a more or less good trade ship, a frigate, and a nice little fast 6th rate into one DLC. People would definitely buy that, and you can finance your game without destroying it. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, in the following video, I already recorded, your, I'm going to talk about the Redoubtable, why that DLC is nice to have but not a good thing that it kind of exists i'll show you how i did a third rate uh group kill mission in that redoubtable so it is a really nice ship um i, I do agree if they need the money they should make more dlc but i really disagree they shouldn't make a first rate dlc i know that dlc will probably sell really good because if you don't have it you'll not be as competitive anymore but that should not be the sole driving of making new content, in my opinion. Anyway, um, let's get back to the original video and all the other arguments I had about the Redoubtable, of course, count as well for that first rate DLC. Um, I'm going to link the discussion on the topic um, in the video description, so if you want to follow that, you can read everything the admin said exactly, everything the people answered and make up your own mind, because that's what you really should do. And there's a lot to be said about that ship. First of all, yes, I did buy it, and it's a really fun ship to have and fight in. It's the strongest third rate I have ever fought in, and one of the strongest in the game at the moment. That means, however, that the Bologna, the previous largest third rate, which you need a rare permit for, is now kind of useless, as a ship that one can redeem every day with seasoned woods is going to be better. However, what you can do in the Redoubtable, and probably in the other new third rates that came out within this month, um, is group kill missions solo. That means you can get doubloons and, more importantly, three silver chests from one battle. So let's stop talking about it and get straight into the group kill mission. Ah, 
I redeemed my Redoubtable with seasoned Live Oak White Oak and uh, put the cannons on that I had in that port, including all the repairs I have in my port. Meaning I could repair four times and rum up less than once. I also added Expert Carpentry Handbook and the Gunner Encyclopedia to my knowledge slots and took the mission. I was going to face three third rates and seven fifth rates, so ten ships in total. Okay guys, uh, don't worry, this will not be a hugely long video now on how to exactly do these third rate missions, but I can make one of those if you want me to. I'm just going to show you a few small clips here how I did it, and then we're going to come to the end of the review of that Redoubtable. So, first thing you want to do is head downwind and let the other ships follow you. Now, it's really important that you try and reload shock all the small ships so they will fire a lot less and always try and only face one ship at a time. So, you can see here I'm passing my first ship, I reload shocked it and then I turn around and hit that ship again. And it'll just go on like that. I'm going to try and move away from the big third rates and concentrate on the smaller ships first. Try and always single one ship out, reload shock and hit her again and again. If your health gets low, repair. You can see here my crew is getting really low, so that's why I started my rum. I really should have taken more of that into this battle, but I just didn't have more import and I really wanted to try this thing out. You can see I'm sinking ship after ship here. Just be careful, always head downwind and never really stop. So you just want to keep going so the ships in the back won't catch up. Yeah, and that's pretty much how you do it. So let's get back to the review. Oh, and uh, if you want to know how many XP I gained and what was in my silver chests, uh, that'll be at the very end of the video. So, in the end, I hull repaired three times and rummed up once. If you want to try this at home, I'd say take more rum, but four hull reps should do it. So is the Redoubtable worth getting in my opinion? Well, if you have the money to spend, it is at the moment definitely worth getting. It's a nominal third rate, but it's more comparable to a second rate, and you can redeem it every day. Now is that a good thing? Probably not. I would rather they made it a lot harder to get these big ships, as it's now kinda turning into a pay to win scenario. The Redoubtable has the BR of a second rate and you can get a teak white oak seasoned ship on the water, water in seconds uh, for screening for instance. The more people you have in that ship the easier it will be to not only screen out the port battle fleets but maybe even sink port battle fleets. Uh, with just a few ships that were really easy to get uh, and you can maybe even sink a few ships that people put a lot of time into. And all the screeners really have to do is uh, pay 50 bucks, and that's it. So yes, if you have the cash to spend and don't mind spending it on a pay-to-win ship, um, you should probably get it. However, I don't necessarily think that's a good thing. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, toss me a like. I actually passed 100 subscribers this week, within the first month of me actually posting my first video. Thank you very much for that. I have one more question for you guys. I started streaming now and again, and um, would you guys rather see me stream on YouTube or Twitch? There's a poll up here somewhere, uh, so please just tick YouTube or Twitch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday.